Hello, 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 my dear student. This week we will be covering nuclear particles. The objectives of each lesson are develop models of atomic nuclear and use them to explain properties of atoms, including isotopes and variations in stability among atoms. Use models of atomic nuclear to explain the rule of the nucleus in the atomic model and the proportion and the proportion of them. Now, atomic nucleus is made up of proton and neutrons. Both particles may also be referred to as nucleus or nucleons. Atomic number is the number of protons in the atom, which also determines what, what the element is. Mass number. What is the mass number? It's the total number uh, of uh, nucleons, i.e. the number of protons added to the number of electrons. What are isotopes? The isotopes of an element have the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons. Does the number of uh, protons, neutrons, or both differ between different isotopes of the same element and why? We will answer that in our class. Now, mass of an atom is almost entirely from the mass of the nucleus because a nucleon is about 1,800 times more massive than an electron. The volume of an atom reflects the volume of the electron cloud with the example that the radius of hydrogen atom is 50,000 times larger than the radius of a hydrogen nucleus. As you can see, the comparison uh, between the area of the city and a soccer ball within the stadium that is not visible. If the radius of the city were 3 kilometers and the radius of the soccer ball were 11 centimeters, how many times larger is the radius of the city than the radius of the soccer ball? Now we'll talk about nuclear mass and energy. Mass is a form of energy. Famous uh, Einstein mass energy equation E equals mc square allow us to explain the relationship between the mass and energy and how tiny changes in mass can result in a lot of changes of energy and we have the definition of electron volt how is it related to kinetic energy we will discuss that in our classes. Now, elementary particles are uh, bosons, quarks, and uh, leptons. These are the building blocks of all matters as far as we all know. The electron is an example of an elementary particle because electrons are not made of anything else. However, protons and neutrons are not elementary particles because they consist of three quarks each. We will discuss all of this and many other more uh, concept, new concept from a physical point of view. Uh, I hope you will understand this lesson as you 